So in this video, I want to show you how I use DN2 with iPhone footage. So as you can see, I've got multiple types of iPhone footage. So this is just standard footage from the iPhone camera app. This one is with HDR on. So it's in HDR, so we have to convert it back to Rec. 709 and fix some things like the exposure. And this one is from the Moment camera app with the flat picture profile. So we just have to increase some contrast, maybe do some corrections, some simple things before we use the answer. So let's start with the first clip and we go to the color tab and I make about three notes. This one's for white band. The second one is going to be the contrast one and the third one is going to be exposure and I want to copy this node tree to every clip in the timeline so we press command C on this clip and then command A and command V and now this node tree is on every clip as you can see. On the HDR clip I want to make another node for the color space transform so we're going to call this CST and we actually start with this one so first we go to effects choose color space transform and put it on the last node and input gamma space is gonna be rec 2020 the input gamma is gonna be rec 2100 hlg output color space is of course rec 709 and output gamma is the same so rec 709 again and as you can see we need to make some exposure adjustments but when we go to the exposure node and put on the offset, you can see how we crunch the black. So this is not what we want. So we reset this offset wheel. And for the HDR footage, we go to the curves and I make a point about here, I think. And then we pull it down. And now you can see it looks way better than when we use the offset wheel. Then we go to the contrast node. And for this one, I want to just increase the contrast. Maybe make some gamma adjustments in this case lift pull the lift up a bit and pull down the gain a bit for the white balance i just want to make some slight adjustments so we pull it in the warmer bit and we go to the first clip and make our adjustments here so i want to increase the contrast for example and in this case i just want to leave the white balance as it is so we leave it like that in this clip we need to make some contrast adjustments of course we go to white balance and i want to make some small adjustments so now it looks really good before and after same here before and after so now what we could do is make a new node for every clip and make the dancer adjustments on every clip but what we can also do if we want to affect the whole timeline we can go over here click on this and choose timeline and then i make a new node and then we can go to the answer put it on here and now as you can see the answer is activated and it affects every clip in the timeline and now we want to make some adjustments set everything as we want to and in this case i want to choose kodak vision 350d activate film compression but turn it down a bit so it's not as strong then i want to see the other clips so that we can see what we're doing go to print and choose the kodak 2383 print film and maybe pull back the contrast a bit increase the color density and i'd like to pull down the exposure and i also want to choose analog range limiter and now i want to choose the grains in this case i want to have 60 millimeter iso 50 activate halation and i don't want to have too strong halation so i leave it at 35 millimeter activate bloom and for this one i want to have super 16 maybe adjust the contrast again pull it up again adjust the target white so it's a bit more warm when we pull it all the way to the left now i want to adjust this clip because it looks a bit colorless so we go to the clip base and adjust the saturation a bit maybe even the acid wheel so it's a bit more warm and now it looks way better in my opinion so we can leave it like that and as you can see it looks pretty good so now you know that the answer works with iphone footage if you want to learn how to calibrate iphone footage without the answer you can click on the video on the screen thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video